Hey, I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, just finished up the video that I put up on the importance of sharpening your lawnmower blade and came out here today, back here in my backyard, as you can probably tell, and realized that there was another opportunity here to uh, share some stuff with you that might be of interest or value. Uh, as I mentioned, my yard has a little bit of everything in it in terms of grass. I've got some Bermuda grass in the backyard and a couple small patches. I've got some centipede grass in the front yard. Uh, most of the front yard is actually Bahia grass. And then intermixed amongst all of it, I've got some St. Augustine grass, uh, particularly the backyard where I've got some trees. Uh, actually, the shade that I'm standing in right now is St. Augustine grass. Uh, for a while now, I've noticed uh, these little white flies that have been running around, uh, little white moths. Um, as I walk through here, you might be able to see some of them start to fly and start to scatter as I go. Um, and I had noticed that, and I had noticed that uh, in addition to the uh, moths that were flying around, uh, I was really starting to see some spots where the St. Augustine grass was actually not growing, didn't appear to be growing as vigorously as it had been before. Uh, definitely wasn't uh, showing any growth from the last mowing, and, and if anything, it was actually kind of shrinking back. And as I started to look at that, I realized, you know what? Uh, I think we've got some wellworm activity here that's actually reached a point where uh, the grass isn't able to keep up with their feeding. Uh, dug down into the canopy, and sure enough, I found uh, one of these little guys. Uh, it's a, a green worm. It's about half inch long, give or take. Um, buried just right at the top of the of the of the uh, canopy, just barely into the soil. Um, one of the other things that you'll see if you've got Weber, Weber, sod webworm activity is the uh, feeding of the leaves. So when you get down and look at this, and rather than having nice clean cut leaves from the last time that it was mowed, what I found was evidence of feeding where there was edges chewing off the leaves, uh, leaves that were, were uh, actually cut back nearly to the stem where clearly a mower blade hadn't actually created that cut. And uh, along with that, you'll find the frass, uh, which is you use these little tiny green pellets that you can see in the picture here from the worms themselves. Um, so you dig down in the canopy, you, you look at the leaves themselves, you know, trying to figure out whether uh, it's just a dieback of the canopy from a disease, or is there something feeding on it and causing this damage? And in this case, uh, I found the feeding damage on the leaves. I uh, found the frass of course, right in the top of that thatch layer, right at the top of the soil, and then ultimately was able to find a couple of the sod webworms that you can see uh, in these pictures and videos that I've got right here. Um, gonna get uh, something lined up here and spray this, hopefully get the uh, webworms knocked back for a little while and give the St. Augustine grass a chance to catch up, uh, and I'll hopefully see this turn around relatively quickly. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I hope you guys, if you like the videos, you hit the subscribe button and go Gators.